Mech Designer, getting started, building a 4-bar mechanism. When you start Mech Designer, the first thing you have to do is open a new mechanism window. A mechanism is always built on a plane. We can select the plane from the assembly tree or from the graphic area of the model. We can spin the model to see which planes are available. Select one. Check that it's the correct plane that's selected. Then use the add mechanism command and click OK. The add mechanism command adds a new building frame or platform for us to build our four bar mechanism on. Before we add parts, we need to add some geometry. This is done by editing the base part in the frame. I am just about to double click on the outline of the base part to start the part editor. Hover over the part outline in the mechanism, double click, and you're in the part editor. You can start sketching using the sketch tools to the left of the graphic area in the vertical toolbar. You will know you're in the part editor by virtue of the sketch tools, but also by the name of the part that replaces the mechanism name at the tab at the top of the screen. We are going to add a line and dimension it. The line has points at each end of it that we will use as pivot points for the four bar mechanism. We will dimension it loosely to begin with. When it is fully dimensioned and constrained, the sketch will turn black. Once you have loosely located and dimensioned the line, you may want to define the dimensions precisely using the Edit Dimension dialog. There are a number of ways to open the Edit Dimension dialog. Here I'm going to double click on the arrowhead. The dimension appears in the data field of the Edit Dimension dialog. A convenient way to edit a dimension is to right click the dimension value and select the round option. This will round the number to a value that is exactly divisible to the parameter in the field below the dimension. Another way to open the Edit Dimension dialog is to hover then right click the mention arrow head and select the Edit Element icon next to the cursor. Again, right click in the data field and select round to round the number. Finally, you can left click the arrow head and select the Edit Element icon in the Edit Toolbar. Here I will round the dimension and also increment it by the rounding increment in the dialog. With the line located and dimensioned we can exit the sketch editor. Left click the Edit Part icon to return to the Mechanism Editor. In the Mechanism Editor you can see the icons useful to building mechanisms in the vertical toolbar to the left of the graphic area. Also, the name of the mechanism returns to the tab at the top of the graphic area. We are now in a position to add parts. Click the Add Part icon in the Mechanism Local toolbar, and then drag out the part in the mechanism plane. The part can still move around in the plane, and so we will want to add a pin joint so that it can pivot about the pin joint in the plane. Click the Add Pin Joint icon, select a point in the part that we have just added, and a point in the line added to the base part using the Sketch Editor. The part can now only pivot about the point in the base part, it has one degree of freedom remaining. If we define the motion of the part, the one degree of freedom is removed. We can add what's called a motion dimension function block to define where the part is in the mechanism plane relative to the line in the base part. We can select the joint that we have just added, a line in the base part that is fixed, that's the line we added previously, and a line in the part that we have just added. That then defines the angle of that part relative to the line in the base part. We can edit the dimension in exactly the same way 
as we edited the dimensions in the sketch by double clicking on the arrowhead. You will notice that when you have defined the angle of the part using a motion dimension function block, the new part turns green. This means it is fully defined in the mechanism and cannot move. We use the power of function blocks to move the parts in our mechanisms. Here we are going to add a linear motion function block and connect it up directly to the input of the motion dimension function block. I now want to edit the length of the part we just added. We double click on the part outline and then double click on the dimension arrowhead again. And then we can right click, round the value, and actually I want to reduce the value to 50 millimeters. We are now ready to add two new parts and three new joints to complete the four bar mechanism. I'll add one part and then click the add part icon again and add the second part. You will notice the part outline is still blue indicating that the, they aren't yet defined in the mechanism. We can then use the add pin joint command to join the parts up and form the four bar mechanism. There are three new joints to add and once the final one is added the mechanism turns green or the part outline turns green indicating that it's fully defined. We can then use the cycle command to cycle the four bar linkage.